Humble. All right, let's get to some real questions. Now, we're going to ask some interesting stuff. And I just want everybody, give me two or three guys or programs that are doing a good job of recruiting the Catholic League. And I'm glad I'm asking this question now because, you know, Sam Ryan is a friend of ours, a friend of the program, a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Today, he just laid it out on his. I didn't see that. Oh, I, I got to check it out later he on. He really came at some local guys about, you know, what they do or don't do with regard to local players. So rather than take that approach, I want us to think about some guys who do a really good job of coming in and getting around and seeing the kids and recruiting your guys. Why don't you go first, John? Who do, who's always in your face? Who's always chasing you? Sports talk, we gon' chop it up, we all in watch. On the television, give opinions, win or loss. Whether it's touchdown or three points across the court. TKO are going 12 rounds, we love sports. What's in the wood sports talk, can't take a season off. Sit back and listen, I'm just chilling, take the evening off. We out the win, we on the radio live again. What's in the woods, they going live and you can tell a friend. Tune in. Wilson and Woods. Guys, why don't you go first, John? Who do, who's always in your face? Who's always chasing your kids? Uh, so far, this you know this fall, LaSalle's been around a lot. Temple, um, Siena, and VCU. But each, I mean, every school has different needs at different times. You know, depending on what you have for them, you know, is when they'll come around. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have a lot of juniors, all different levels. So, you know, the fall's been busy with schools coming in from, you know, Big East down to, you know, down to American East and everything like that. But for the most part, um, Temple and uh, LaSalle have been doing a lot of a lot of recruiting in our gym for our juniors. Okay. Who's been yeah, to see think, you guys? I think, I think that's kind of accurate. I think it depends on the needs of the school at that time. What mm-hmm. class they need to recruit, what position they need to recruit, but um, I talked to Justin a lot. Mike Jordan was in the gym from Colgate, Colgate. the other day. Mm-hmm. Justin uh, from St. Joe's. St. Joe's, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, Ash, I talked to a lot. Donnie, um, I haven't, I haven't. I, Temple doesn't need anyone that we have yeah, guys, think, yeah, right now, right at now. this point. Um, so, but I think all the Philly schools, even, even. Just going off of D one guys, but like even D two, like Lock Haven, Nestor, and a couple mm-hmm. of Westchester working they, hard. Right, Westchester yeah. is working yeah. real hard, mm-hmm. sure, and it's paying off. Rand, who you see all the time in the so, cap league chasing these kids? So I mean, if I don't see him, I hear from him. You know, mm-hmm. they hit me on the phone. Mm-hmm. So LaSalle, um, I'm always hearing from either Coach Ash or Donnie or Kyle Griffin. Um, I'm always talking to the guys at St. Joe's, whether it be Justin or Coach Brendan, a uh, guy from D.C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Strong. Brendan Strong. Also here from Temple, too. You know, Aaron's a busy guy, but he'll shoot me a text every now and again. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, those are the people I'm here. I'm, I'm lying. I hear from you, Penn, yeah, a lot. I, Joe Coach Dick, Coach I Trey that. hits me up. Uh, from they're doing Penn. a good job, too. They, yeah. they're, they're, I also hear from um, – Coach Torian Jones at Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. Delaware. I hear from Del- Delaware. Delaware's Torian doing a good job Billy. also. Who's hanging out at – well, I know who's hanging out at Roman. The NBA hanging out at Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Oh, man. Also, Dell State. Everybody. Though. Dell State, yeah. Dell State's yeah. working. Coach Skeet is doing a good job. Coach so, Skeet. Yeah, so a lot of guys come through Roman, man. But really, when 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 they come see us, it's, it's more about showing face, really. Um they just want to be in the gym, take a look. Uh, the past few years, the guys who've been real serious, Marilyn, mm-hmm. Matt Brady, mm-hmm. a lot, um, Nova, a lot, um, and then, believe it or not, Miami. Mm-hmm. Miami's oh, yeah. My, yeah. My, my Miami's state. a force up here. My, oh, yes, sir. Miami has been making their rounds. Mm-hmm. Um, when Seth Lundy was in the building, we had a lot more. Uh, Virginia Tech was around. Mm-hmm. Virginia Tech bugs me about some of Johnny's young kids. They yeah, literally bug me. Yeah, this this so year or last year? Now. Now? Last now. night. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so along with those guys and the guys that they mentioned, we see quite a few. All right. Well, I've seen, I've seen 
South Carolina around here a lot. Mm-hmm. I've seen uh, Delaware. I, I do talk to Tori and Billy a mm-hmm. lot. Um, and I've run into Justin, I think, three times in the past week. You're always going to see Justin. In a, in a gym. And I talk to Griff a lot from mm-hmm. St. Joe's. You guys are trying to get out. Mm-hmm. I do like to mention the D2 guys. The guy at Bloomfield, Gerald Holmes. Okay. He always is trying to find a kid that can come up and help him win some games, you know. Uh, yeah, our man, Alfred, went down to um, Elizabeth City. Mm-hmm. Alfred's always looking. So if you got some guys that yeah, you think sure. might mm-hmm. be borderline D1, D2, I think Alfred is a good space for those guys. Dale, before we get off this topic, I want to touch on the Justin Scott thing real quick. Since Dale bashed me a whole lot before y'all came in you. about St. Joe's taking these L's. <laughs> what do y'all what do y'all think about the the choice of Billy Lane going with Justin Scott, a guy who came up in yeah, Philly basketball, um, had great success at at Arcadia, and now chose to make him one of his top recruiters here in the area? So I think that's an excellent choice, and here's why: um, Justin is not only like you said he was raised in the city, mm-hmm. uh, played, played here, in the pub. played in the pub, yes. played in the PSEC. Okay. Okay. shameless ENS shout out, but whatever. <laughs> Played in the PSAC, and, um, you know, he's coached with Jersey Shore Warriors. He's coached with Kalo Elite. Justin is a, a real good dude, right. and he also yeah. has great relationships. I agree with that. So, right. so who else better than the pick than somebody like him? No n- no, no, natural enemies. No no natural enemies. Right. Nah. You know, right. knows his basketball. Mm-hmm. And is trustworthy. Trustworthy. Will and I Solid were talking guy. about that Solid first guy. hire when you get a job in college mm-hmm. basketball. And I talk to, I have a lot of friends in that business, and many of them have gotten their first job. And the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth criteria they have is, can gotta, I trust yeah, the guy? Yeah, you got to right. trust, trust him. him. got to be able to trust somebody. You want somebody in the foxhole with you. Yep. That's yep. right. Yep. yep. And so yep. Justin definitely fit that category. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Randy, Just start with you, because they going to give me the political oh, okay. stuff. <laughs> uh, Bill, what were you saying? Repeat that, Bill. I'm sorry. That's John. John sorry. John, John yeah, J- uh, Justin was a head coach before, and that gives Billy some, you know, a lot of help on the bench with yeah. that and yep. um, running practices. And if he can't, you know, if he, you got a lot of other oper- uh, things you have to do as head coach at college. You know, you might not be at a practice where you have another head coach that can run the practice. Right. Besides him being out there, you know, in Philly and being trusted, and you never hear a bad word about him, and you have to walk in any school. Ever. Mm-mm. Catholic, right. public, interact. You know what I mean? He's walking in those schools and nobody dislikes him. It's very few guys that you can say <clears throat> you've never heard a bad word. And I think mm-hmm. Will and right. John and Justin are about the only ones that come to my mind immediately. So Sports talk, we gon' chop it up, we all in watch. On the television, give opinions, win or loss. Whether it's touchdown or three points across the court. TKO are going 12 rounds, we love sports. We're sitting in wood, sports talk, can't take a season off. Sit back and listen, I'm just chilling, take the evening off. We out the win, we on the radio live again. Wilson and Woods, they going live and you can tell a friend. Tune in. Wilson and Woods.